Hello everybody, very excited about the video today because, well, this isn't exactly what I'm excited about. And you're probably not that excited about it too because you're like, John, I've seen that one before. That's the Land Rover Defender from the 2016 Best of World series. Why are you showing me that? Well, because that is the last year's series and this is this year's series. And this is a Lamley exclusive. We are going to debut the brand new Matchbox Best of World series. So why am I showing you this and not showing you this? Well, come on, I gotta give you some context. I gotta give you a little introduction. I'll try not to ramble too much. This was last year's premium series. Full tampo, front, rear, top, rubber tires. These were the Matchbox rubber tires introduced in the Supreme Heroes line, I believe it was called. Um, and then introduced into the Best of World series. Best of World's going to have a different, uh, different variety of cars, maybe some emergency vehicles, some standard cars. You, you get the drift, right? People love these. They picked them up. This one in particular was very popular, as was this one. Dodge A100 was another. This is the BMW 1M. People love the 1M. They love the design of the 1M, how clean it was with the matte black and the shiny black. There was one issue though that some people had was those wheels. Now I can go in real close but I'm not going to right now only because I want to show these. Wheels on this one were two piece wheel but be because these came from a Supreme Heroes line you can see the tread on these was a little um, well people called them off-roady. Now I think it translated okay because the wheels look so cool but that was the one complaint that people had about this series. I'm going to introduce the first six of the best of world right now. You're going to see what you're going to see and you're going to tell me what you think in the comments section below. So what we'll do is we'll walk through all six of these models, then I'm going to open them up, turn them on a little turntable so you can get some uh, ins and outs, and then on lamleygroup.com we're going to do uh, put those in the photo studio and photograph them. Alright, are you ready? Okay, like they said, this is the first six. Last year it was ten all released together. This year it's two parts, so this is the 2016, or I'm sorry, 2017. These are the first six models. We'll see the next six uh, sometime uh, next year, within a few months. What should we start with? Why don't we start with this one? That is the Volkswagen T2 bus. Very retro feel to this one. Like I said, we'll get in close to the model. Now, um, I want all your feedback on this one. Tell me what you think. There's those two-piece matchbox wheels, um, full tampo print, front, rear, sides. Um, here's your artwork that comes with the box. I'm going to say the artwork leaves a little to be desired. I think it's okay on that one. You'll see this on others. Hot Wheels is really up their game with artwork. Matchbox needs to follow suit, at least with the Best of series, considering it's premium. My thought, you tell me what you think. I, like, I do like the retro kind of stripe thing, which you've seen with Matchbox, um, but the actual uh, rendering of the car, meh, I don't know. Anyway, here's the back. Premium collection includes realistic tire treads and decorations exclusive to the, match, to the best of Matchbox collection. So I think this is actually called Best of Matchbox now, right? So. I think that's a better name than Best of World, right? So Best of Matchbox, there's the VW T2 bus. We're going to open that in a minute. Next up, a model we haven't seen in a long time. Range Rover Sport. This one's had a resurgence in the uh, secondary market, and this one is most welcome. Once again, front, rear, top, two-piece Matchbox wheel, similar to what you saw on the BMW in black and a very cool olive green color. We'll get to that one. Now I'm really excited to show you the next four. Remember what I said about the wheels. Remember about people's complaints about them being off-road. So you figure why not change the tread? Let's go from this side. That is the Lamborghini Mura P400S. Hope I said it right. Beautiful blue color, bronze trim, and aren't those wheels pretty cool? And yeah, have you seen those wheels before? You have! You can figure out where. 
We'll be opening that one very soon. Next up, BMW M5 Police. This one is fantastic. Can't wait to open this one. And how about those wheels, huh? Have you seen those wheels before? You have! Next up, another casting we haven't seen. Mercedes is back. We, had already, saw, we already saw the uh, 6x6. We know that the SLR McLaren is coming back, and there is the Mercedes-Benz CLS 500. This is an opportunity to use a casting that uh, hadn't really been fully utilized by the time the uh, Mercedes license was lost. So it's nice to see the CLS 500 back. I always thought this was a beautiful car, and I, every time I see it on the road, I'm always happy to see it. I think Mercedes really, really figured the design cues out from this era with this model. Have you seen those wheels before? You have! Maybe not on a matchbox though. And last but not least, the Porsche 911 GT3 and Spectre Flame bronze, orange, whatever you want to call it. It's just a sharp, matchboxy orange color. White spoiler, eh, maybe it could have been a different color, but how do you match the spoiler? to that color. It's almost impossible. So going with the white to match the stripe is probably the way to go. We'll open that one up. Have you seen those wheels before? Yep, you have. Just not on a matchbox. All right. So let's open these up. I think we will start with the T2. Let's get our happy little we're going to move this in get our happy little roller going. So, should we start with the T2? Let's do it. All right. Oh. By the way, these were provided by Matchbox. Um, they will be available in stores next month in November. There's your box. Make sure we're focused, right? Um, I've heard Toys R Us. I've heard um, Kroger stores. From what I've heard from Matchbox, it should be all the same stores that you found the first best of. Oh, sorry, I don't, you know you don't want to see the box. All right, there you go. Very retro Matchboxy feel to this one. Move in just a little bit if you want to see it. Service and parts with the VW logo. License says. BW MB 2017. So I think you get that, get the gist there. So this is, like I said, the premium series. They're going to have fun with this one. While you're watching that one, I'm going to go ahead and open the Range Rover Sport. Well, look, just to give you a little bit of a history. These models have all been around. Most of them actually do come from that golden era that I talk about. This is the Lesney edition from several years ago when they did the when they did the premium was not about the wheels but about the base and the deco. So this is the um, like I said this is the T2 from the Lesney series. So we're going to give you one. So while uh, while I'm opening the next one, here's the last. I think this is the last time the Range Rover Sport was in the range. This was in the basic range. All black. Second time it was done in black. The first issue was done in black as well. There's the box. See, and I'm looking at these out of the box for the first time too, so I should probably make sure I'm not just staring at it off camera. There you go. Side, front, you can see the vents have been colored in, the tail lights have been colored in right there. Best of world on the license. The There's a, they've done a little silver roof on this one. I think this one's going to be a hit. The wheels are black. Tan interior. That one looks really good. All right. I mentioned the CLS, one that we haven't seen in a while. This was from the 
That was from the best, uh, I'm sorry, the Stars of Cars series from several years ago. You can look at that one while we open up the newest one. There's the box trying to balance. And here is the Mercedes CLS with tan interior and what I guess you would probably call forest green with gold five spoke rims. Actually like six spoke rims. So nice to see Mercedes back. And yeah, those wheels are Hot Wheels wheels. What do you think? Those are real riders. I think it's a decent solution to a problem from last year. Put realistic looking wheels on them and just go across the hall to get them. Next up, why don't we do, well let's just do with this signature model. Here is the first issue of the Porsche 911 GT3 from back in 2007. That was a 10 pack exclusive in yellow. That remains my favorite version, although this one could give it a run for its money. Well, it's trying to hold up, it's trying to hold up. All right, this one's pretty fun. Yes, that is Spectra Flame Orange. Spectra Flame from that color you're used to with Hot Wheels. I don't know how you would match the spoiler to that, so they went ahead with a white spoiler. License, I'm going to look at it closely. SE911, so special edition. I don't know, I might have that wrong. Porsche logo on the sides. And one little cool detail beside the Spectre Flame and besides the real rider wheels on it, which look fantastic, is the white stripe with the Porsche detailing in the stripe. See that on the hood? How cool is that? I am really looking forward to photographing this one. Spectra Flame always shows up really well. All right. Let's go. Here is the BMW Police, that was the first issue. You can see right in the background, although it's blurry, that is the uh, Leipzig version from about a, what, a few, couple weeks ago. But now we have, it's nice to see this in a premium version. Now, what's gonna be cool about this one, this BMW M5, is it is a companion to a previous model. So let's, I'm not gonna balance it, this one very well. I'm just gonna show it to you there. That's the BMW. We'll get rid of that one and we will show off the brand new M5 Police. Once again, full tampo, premium treatment on the hood, on the sides, on the front with that best of the, best of the world, best of matchbox there in the front. And yep, also sporting Hot Wheels GT Real Riders. You wanted real wheels, you got them, right? Real looking wheels, no more off-roadies for the cars. That's it. Cool thing about this one is it is a companion, and this was done on purpose to the Lesney Edition BMW X5 Police from several years ago, what about four or five years ago? The decos match perfectly. How cool is that? Even the rims on the X5 and the M5 are black rims with the blue lipped 
the blue trim. I guess the X5, the, the M5 got a little more treatment on the roof. How cool is that, huh? Those will look so good together. Once again, it'll be really fun to photograph. And that is the BMW M5 with the X5. And lastly, here is one of the, this is from a five pack, the Lamborghini Miura. Here's the box, which the artwork is, yikes. Um, Look, you can't do it. Now remember, this is what the wheels look like last year. They they work okay on the BMW, but I can but the tread, yeah, is a little off-roady. They did that on there was a Cadillac that they did last year. Um, here's a, the Mustang from last year that had the treads too. You can't do that Lamborghini with those wheels. So once again, they borrowed from their friends across the hall. And you have these lace style wheels that really work on an absolutely stunning Lamborghini. So how did Hot Wheels wheels get on a Matchbox model? You know what? Maybe we'll find out. But they did. And this is what the best of worlds is going to look like. So you guys tell me what you think. That is the exclusive. The Matchbox, best of world. Try and here we go. Making sure I'm getting all these here. You let me know. Let them go round and round and round. These will be in stores, like I said, in November. Go out and get them. Look for more pictures on LamleyGroup.com. Thanks to Matchbox once again for letting me showcase these. See you later. Bye.